Okay, good morning, everyone, and good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're doing this. I always say good morning because that's where we are in the present time when I record this. So I wasn't sure what to do today, and then this morning I had a few minutes to kind of sit and meditate with myself, and Archangel Michael had a strong presence, and we've worked with him quite a bit to kind of clear and clean things out. But what I was getting is after this lion's gate, and if you wanna do the lion's gate meditation, it's also on my um, YouTube channel. But after that upgrade of light, there's still a little bit of debris from the past that needs to be cleaned out and some energy clearing. So we're gonna work on that with Archangel Michael. And then I got this new deck that I absolutely love. It's called Earth Craft. And it's by Juliet Davis and Laurieann Anderson. And what came up was accepting your gifts. So that makes so much sense to clear out the debris so we can find what our gifts are and accept them in a grander way. So that sounds like a pretty good morning afternoon, evening, whenever you're doing this. So let's do it. Okay. So beginning just with a straight spine, you can lie down if you want to, but just being aware of the natural curve of your spine. Just allowing it to support you, the backbones to support you but also keep you flexible and mobile. Perhaps your feet are on the ground or your legs that are touching the ground or the chair. Breathing in that connection with the earth. So I get that we're receiving right now a very strong transmission from the center of the earth. Like a crystalline light body reaching up, helping us to ground. So connecting to your earth star chakra, three feet below you, and then coming up into your base chakra. Just breathe with that connection for a few breaths here. Center of the earth, three feet below you to the earth star, and then right into your base chakra, right where your sit bones are. So we'll clean out our connection with the earth first, just with the energy from the heart of the earth. And then three feet above us, the stellar gateway above your head, three feet above that Archangel Metatron will help to open us to the light, the energetic connection to the higher vibration of the universe. So breathing that in from the center of the universe, you can use the central sun if you would like whatever image comes to you, to that stellar gateway, three feet above you, and then into your crown chakra. So just a few breaths making that connection. And then balancing that polarity of above and below and letting the energy from both directions, from the center of the earth, from the center of the universe, move through us, through the base chakra, through the crown chakra, and into the heart. Breathing in that connection with the inhale and with the exhale, just exhaling it into every cell in your body. 
allowing its presence. And then we'll invite in the presence of Archangel Michael. You might see a color of blue. I'll hold up the card again if you need a visual. And just allowing his presence in your heart and also in your throat chakra. He is in charge of this, the throat chakra in his sword of truth. And I'll show you the sword again if you need it helps us to speak our truth at all times. So we'll make that connection with Archangel Michael in the heart and in the throat chakra. Breathing it in and then breathing it into each and every cell. And we're gonna ask him to help us become aware of any old debris, it may feel like a physical sensation or pain, or maybe you had some pain in your joints or something, or somewhere in your body, or it might be an emotional pain that's been kind of clouding you lately, or a thought system or belief system that you know is old, but you haven't quite been able to shake it yet. We're going to ask him to help break it up. Whatever is remaining after this light from the lion's gate last Monday came through the earth and into us to help us upgrade. Just cleaning up any debris, like I even see a little sweeper kind of sweeping stuff into a dustpan. See how it appears for you. What does it look like? What does it feel like? And where? Where is it? We'll ask him to clean anything that's blocking us from our truth. And we're going to ask him to clear the path to accept our gifts. So I'm just going to read as you're breathing and continuing to clear the path. I'm just going to read a little bit from this accepting, accept your gifts card. It says it is common to receive this card when you are doubting yourself and your natural talents as a part of us always knows what we're good at. So breathe that in, always knowing what you're good at. What is it? We receive little moments of clarity when doing something that sparks curiosity, joy, familiarity, and excitement. Accepting your natural gifts is like the sun rising on a new day. It brings light and clarity after a period of darkness or a sense of feeling lost. So we've had a lot of that the last couple of years. So let's ask Michael to clear that out. Any residue from the period of darkness or a sense of feeling lost in this pandemic stuff. So using your gifts will feel natural as though you can't imagine how life would be without it. Doubting your gifts drains your power. If you are feeling unmotivated, lacking in energy, or confused, it's likely because you must learn to trust in yourself again. Believe in your ability to know what feels right for your soul. Okay, so Michael, help us hold up that sword of truth and give it to us. So as if he was giving you that sword of truth and saying, touching the sword will help clear the crap that keeps you from knowing what your gifts are, keeps you from trusting in your gifts. 
So Michael says, hold your own sword of truth and step forward on your ascension path with resolution and power. So breathe that in. Holding that sword of truth, cutting through, cutting out anything, keeping us from seeing our gifts and stepping onto our ascension path with resolution and valor or power. Also, power. So breathe in that intention right into your heart, right into your throat chakra and your heart chakra from both directions. Holding your sword of truth in front of you, breathing, solidifying this commitment to step forward on your ascension path with resolution and valor. Asking for clarity if you need it, illuminate your gifts. Asking for trust if you need it, trusting that what's being illuminated is true, is what you have to offer. And we're going to extend this into the space that's around us, this resolution to step forward on the ascension path. We're going to ask for the vibration of the space where we live. Or I know there's one woman on here that's moving into a new house. You can do this in your new house. Filling it, imagine filling that space with your resolution to move forward on the ascension path. And just imagine that light. It can come from both directions, from the heart of the earth, a crystalline energy from the heart of the earth and from the universe, just filling the space from both directions. just as it's filling you from both directions. And as you breathe out, you're affirming that it's also filling the space around you. And you might even hear a sound or a note, some sort of chime or something that let you know that this is the sound you're attuning this space to. And see if you can relax your body a little bit more to allow a little more to come through into you and into whatever space you're filling. Breaking up whatever else needs to be broken up by Archangel Michael. A lot of times he comes in with a broom or a vacuum. Or you could fill it with a little blue balloon or whatever color balloon you want and just send it off to the light, to the universe, to be transformed. And then let the balloon of your gifts come into your heart and pop that balloon and let them scatter, those gifts scatter from your heart into you, into the space around you. So big message is that all you need to do now, we have so much 
light available to us now on this earth. All you need to do is relax and allow it to come in. And that will help you to accept your gifts, to see your gifts. So throughout the day, you begin to doubt, you're feeling like you're disconnected. Just take one, two, three breaths, how much time you have. Relax into it. Let your body soften a little bit more. And then bring your palms together at your heart, giving thanks to the center of the earth, the center of the universe, Archangel Michael, whatever, whoever else was here, angels, guides, giving thanks for your gifts. They are yours to share and you don't have to do anything but relax into them and they are there. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today, joining us today. Namaste.